Okay, so first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Yahweh, be in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yah, many he, Hawa, many his. Baha Sham, Ba is in Ha, is Da Sham, his name. Yahweh, Shai. That's who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ, even though the letter J wasn't invented until the 16th century. And the actual uh, Hebrew to English equivalent to that would be Joshua. Right? Um, Yah meaning he, Hawashai meaning deliver. Baha Sham in the name, Ha Rakah Kodash Ha is Da, Raka is spirit, Kodash is holy. All spoken in our native tongue. Modern day term, Hebrew, ancient day term, Ibar. Uh, my name is Abaya, and the Most High has placed this spirit of holiness, spirit of righteousness, spirit of sincerity and truth into his men to be able to go out into the highways and hedges, bid who he will to the marriage, and also warn the people of the times that they're in and warn the people of the times to come. All right? <laughs> so, I mean, same old same, man. We in the end times, right? And the majority of the most high people are still operating uh, with the slave mindset of black and African American and um, Hispanic and, you know, because that's who we are. We so-called blacks, we so-called Native Americans, and so-called Hispanics and all our brethren around the world, all of so-called Negro descent, we are Israel, right? And the proof that you're calling yourself everything outside of what the Most High calls you, um, or the fact of that, is the proof of that. Because um, it says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, which is a list of curses that will be placed on the Most High's people. And it says that they will be put on the Most High's people for a sign. Right? And, and one of those curses is we will be called by words. Right? We will be called out of our righteous names. Right? It also says in the book of Psalms, if I'm not mistaken, that our enemies, our oppressors, conquer lands and call themselves, or call the land after themselves, right? So you can equate uh, uh, the land to the people, just like it, it speaks about Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a, is a people before it's a land, right? So you walking around here calling yourself Chavez, right? Castillo, right? Williams and, and um, you know, Thomas and Thompson and so forth and so on. Those are your oppressor's names. You took on the name of your oppressor after you were conquered by them, right? But I said the warning is, man, that time is up. that time is up. It's running down fast, you know. Uh, the daughter of Babylon is losing losing that uh, powerful weight that it had over the world, and the Most High is the one that's picking that weight up, right? Because Actually, let me start at three, uh, Ezekiel 317, like I always do. Just so it's understood, these are not my words that are being spoken. It's the Spirit of the Lord. Scripture says, the preparations in the heart in man, which is our mind and the answer of the tongue, are from the Lord. So this is the Lord born of the people, right? Um, through his Spirit, right? But it says in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, the verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning from me, right? So, as I said, the warning is the Most High is moving uh, the weight of, of power out of the devil's hand, right? Because it's time, right? Um, let's see. So, Psalms chapter 17 and verse 13. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right? So the Most High's hand is on, on that sword, right? And he's been causing damage on all the world. And it's really, really because we fell off and, and we didn't do what we were supposed to do as a nation collectively. So the Most High placed 
the sword in his left hand and allowed it to do damage, right? But the Most High is lifting up that sword and picking up the battle axe, right? That's spoken of in the book of Jeremiah. Let me see. Jeremiah chapter 50. And um, let me see. Actually, I'm going to start at um, verse 22. Right? So, Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 22 says, A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Right? So, the Most High is doing away with their sword. The Most High is doing away with the power of the daughter of Babylon and returning that power to its righteous state, right? Which is um, the, men of, the, men, the men of the Lord, right? But it says, uh, verse 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware that I found out and also caught because thou hast striven against Yahweh. They, they have striven against Yahweh, right? First and foremost by uh, conquering uh, Yahweh's people where his name is, right? Conquering Yahweh's land where his name is, right? Uh, uh, changing the faces of the judges thereof, right? Um, um, calling everything evil righteous and everything righteous evil, right? It says in verse 25, Yahweh hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of Yahweh power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up as heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing be uh, of her be left. Let nothing of her be left. All right? So that's utter destruction. The Most High is going to turn this place into a desert, man. All of these roads and trees and uh, uh, different land masses is going to be utterly destroyed, man. This whole place is going to become a desert. Right? But I'm going to drop down to verse 31. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud. Right? Who are the most proud? The most proud is Esau Edom. Right? Man, you can read that in the book of Obadiah. Right? The proud of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks. Right? These, these devils are, 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 are a proud generation, man. A, a, a proud nation of people. Right? They, they say they can never be defeated, man. America will always stand. It will always be uh, on top of the world. And that's, 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 that's not accurate with history, right? History proves that kingdoms as such always fall. And, and uh, the daughter of Babylon is falling the same way its predecessors did, right? Or, 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 the, or the nations before it did, right? The daughter of Babylon is falling just like Rome did. Right? The daughter of Babylon is falling just like Egypt did, right? It's falling just like the nations of the past. And the reason why it's falling just like the nations of the past is because it is the nations of the past. Scripture says there is no end of the people, right? It says in Revelation 13, um, the beast who had a deadly wound, but that wound was healed. It's the same the same nation of before, the same kingdoms of before, right? Really all tallied together. Like it says in the book of Revelation chapter 11, spiritual Sodom and spiritual Egypt, right? The uh, daughter of Babylon is also equated to Assyria, right? Or uh, Rome. Right? All of the nations of the past. Right? This is the place where you can practice all of the uh, different wickedness of the, uh, of the kingdoms in the past in one place and it be deemed okay. Right? But it says, we we'll read verse 32 in Jeremiah 50. Uh, matter of fact, Jeremiah 50 and 31 again. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, said the Howard Power of Host, for thy day is come. The time that I will visit thee, right? It's time for this place to fall, right? It, it, uh, uh, all of the wickedness that they've uh, uh, sold in the past, they have they have to reap that now, you know. And it, it, and, and we seeing the, the fruit of, of that reaping, man, uh, uh, with uh, uh, the fall of the dollar, slowly but surely, right? The disrespect of the nations that weren't tolerated in the past, but now have to be. Right, um, different nations blatantly saying what they are and aren't going to do, and it being upheld, right? Not just by that nation, but by other nations that have the same sentiment, that have the same mindset, right? But it says, 
uh, Jeremiah 50 and 32, and the most proud shall stumble and fall, and none shall raise him up. And I will kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all round about him. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Right? They refused to tell us the truth about ourselves, and they never will, man. They never will. Like they just, they just um, 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 denied that uh, reparations bill, or, or they're about to. But I think it, it makes its full circle this summer. But I believe um, it already went through a, a phase of denial in California. Right? You you won't receive no reparations from these people, man. Like straight like that. They, they, they are not going to try to make anything right with you. Why? Because they know you have no power. Right? They know the only power that you have is in your money. You best believe Esau know that uh, as far as so-called blacks, so-called Hispanics, and so-called Native Americans, you know what I'm saying, in the door of Babylon, we hold a, a, a nice little chunk of change uh, when, as it comes to the, to the economy. But they also know that in us holding that nice chunk of change, it makes zero rotations in our neighborhoods. And why is that? Because our neighborhoods were designed to be ghettos, meaning our neighborhoods were designed for us to be oppressed. That's why we don't own nothing in our ghetto, in our neighborhoods. We don't own the gas stations. We don't own the restaurants. We don't own the, the uh, hamburger joints. We don't own the car dealerships. We don't own the liquor stores. We don't own nothing in here. Only thing we, and we really don't even own the houses that we stay in, right? Just being real, right? It's very few of us that own the actual houses that we stay in. And even then, you gotta pay property tax. So they know we have no say so, right? So why would they, what's the incentive of them giving us reparations? So when you ask your enemy to give you reparations, that's really you trying to tug on the sentimental string that they don't have because they are your enemy. They are the wicked. They are sworn enemy, man. Read Genesis chapter 27. Man. These are the individuals who swore death to you. They're not going to have a kindness of heart to say, okay, now we're going to get here by the reparations so that now y'all can y'all can have a chance of being successful in this society. Don't work like that, man. Right? That, and that's also why scripture says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because you real be a believe in the American dream, man. A dream is just that, a dream. It ain't real. Right? When you wake up and get into reality, that's real, but a dream ain't nothing but a dream. Right? Understand that. But it's the book of Jeremiah 50 and verse, 30, verse 33 again, right? Thus said the how of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. And all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go, right? Their redeemer is strong, the how of hosts is his name. He shall cruelly plead their cause that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. That's how we're going to get out of this place, man. And the Most High already making them moves. And, and we see it because the Most High has blessed us with eyes to see and ears to hear. But the majority of the Most High's people, they can't see it. They hoping that everything get back to normal. Not understanding when you when you hope for things to get back to normal, that's really you hoping to continue to stay at the bottom of society. That's you hoping to always have no say-so. That's you hoping to always never own anything. That's what you're hoping for when you hope for things to get back better, right? Once again, that's why scripture says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because the most high people don't know no damn better, man. They're like little children that's being raised by a stepdad that hate them, that molest them at all times, that beat them up at all times, right? But they don't know no better because they're children. They have the mindset of children, right? Highly influential. Right, whatever the new rap artist is, that's uh, the inf main influencer on the earth. All right, brother, that's the main influencer on the earth. That's who the majority of the people are going to follow, right? Uh, whoever the, the top actress or actor is uh, uh, that has a certain look about themselves and they speak a certain spirituality about things, that's what the people are going to follow because they like they have the mind of children, right? But scripture says, since thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So thou seeing that thou shalt be no priest to me, I will also reject who? Thy children. Right? So it's gonna always be a rejected mindset. But the most high is doing away with all of this, man, like we just read. Our redeemer is Yahweh Bashi, our side. It's not a president, a governor, a governor, 
right? It's not a, 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 a what you call these individuals, you know what I mean? They do social protests, things of such. It's not a social media influence or anything of such. It's your how about show me how shy and we see it, right? So, I mean, that's really the warning right there, man. See your father before it's too late. See your father now, spiritually, before you see him physically. See your father, your how about show me how shy now, spiritually, before he manifests before the whole world physically. That's when it says, every knee shall bow. That's when it says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Because when you when you physically see, right, the destruction that's being that you're being warned about, repentance over with. Right? Uh, grace done. Right? Now you got to deal with the persecution and the judgment that comes behind you not trying to seek the Father. You not trying to find out the truth of things. Right? That's when you got to deal with your, your like how you lived on this earth. Right? But it says, uh, let's see. I'm looking for a particular. verse because like I said the most high Yahweh is gonna use his people to do to uh to carry out his work uh, let me see uh, who's that verse so uh, it may be Jeremiah 51 Let me see. I thought it was Jeremiah 50. Maybe Jeremiah 50. Uh, remember, yeah, the most high gonna use his people. That's according to Ezekiel chapter 25. Ezekiel chapter 25 and verse 14. Where the most high said he will um, basically take out these nations. Uh, with his fury inside of us, right? Yeah, Jeremiah 51, it's a lot. So, Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse, mm, I start at 19. So it says, the portion of Jacob is not like them, right? For he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Howell of hosts is his name. And we are his people. We are the ones that the Most High, at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, we are the ones that are going to uh, um, be endowed with, this, with the full spirit of the Lord, with a change of body, and be rulers of this earth in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? And, and, and won't be a, a, a damn thing the nations, the surrounding nations can do about it, right? Be, be, because it, it's ordained by the Lord, right? But it says in verse 20, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider, with thee also will I break in pieces man and woman, and with thee will I break in pieces old and young, and with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid, I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock, and with thee will I break in pieces the husband and, and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces captives and rulers, and I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of, the Ch of Chaldea all their evil, that they have done in Zion in your sight, said Yahweh. They have to get that back. The Most High is going to you when and when at the end of the day, he's going to use his people to do so. Right now, he's using the sword, which is the wicked, to do so. Right? Really chopping up their cells, man. Right? Like I said, the economy is falling. Right? Slowly but surely, right? Uh, 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 the, uh, America as a, or the daughter of Babylon as a powerhouse, is losing its power, right? You got civil unrest that's uh, um, bubbling under the underneath uh, the whole the whole story, right? And when they unleash that uh, Revelation 13, when they re when they unleash that mark of the beast, you're gonna fully see it out here in these streets because it says so in the book of Second Edge, chapter 15, right? Uh, they'll be kicking in doors. Uh, 
because of great tribulation and because of lack of bread, right? We see, we already seeing um, uh, this recession that's been talked about for the past year or so, right? That we are literally in, but people can't see it because uh, uh, it's not as bad as it will be, right? But the price of things are going up, man, right? I'm just saying like straight like that, the price of everything is going up, right? Even like on, on uh, like used cars or something <laughs> like that, right? If it, back in the day, right, when I was young, man, you know what I'm saying? I said when I was in my 20s or something like that, if I went to a used car dealership and they had a car for like 10000 I could take $500 to them and I could get that car. Nowadays, because the price of everything is going up and the chances of that automobile, um, you know, basically breaking down because, uh, because for whatever reason, now you have to put more money down in order to get this vehicle, right? The price of things are going up. A new, a new vehicle today, low level new vehicle today, costs damn near 10 times more than it did 20 years or 10 years ago. I ain't even gonna, I ain't gonna say 20 years ago. Five, 10 years ago cost 10 times more, right? A brand new Chevy truck, man. That's like $50,000, $60,000, right? 10, 20 years ago, a brand new Chevy truck was like 30,000, right? That, 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 it's the same products, the same vehicles, same name. The only thing that changes is the value of that dollar. It's changing, right? It's getting worse and worse and worse, right? And speaking of that dollar losing its value, they got something called central bank and digital currency, right? All of this is equating to end time prophecies and all of this is equating to most high people finding out the hard way of exactly who the Lord is, right? But at the end of the day, it's only so long you're gonna get this warning. The warning is gonna turn into some destruction, right? Uh, let me go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah 16. <clears throat> and 16, it says, Behold, I was sent for many fishers, said the how. So like I said, the most high face is spirit on his men to be able to go out into the highways and hedges did who he will to the marriage, right? That's the fishers, right? And also warn the people of the times that they're in and the times to come. That's the most high sending fishers out to get his people, right? Those that will listen. Because right? like, like I always say, man, this, 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 this captivity is different than the last. This captivity is different than any other, right? I and mean, in this captivity, the only people that's gonna make it out alive, right? It's gonna be the elect of the most high people that sought him before all hell broke loose. The same, the same elect that was seeking the most high in lives past, right? Because we never die, our spirit never dies, our spirit lives on. The flesh dies, but the spirit lives on. You live out that judgment, right, when you come back down in this earth. So that means if you was righteous in a past life, when you died, you went and got judged, you came back down on this earth, and you're doing the same thing you were doing then now, right? may not be in the exact form, meaning I'm in Alabama, right? One of the most racist, racist uh, uh, cities or, or states in the South. In the middle of, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, like uh, uh, a, a, a gas station in busy streets with my friends is on, right? Uh, crying aloud, sparing not, bringing out the word of God. 400 years ago, this could not be done. But I would imagine 400 years ago, if I was on this earth at that, at that particular time, which I believe I was, right? This word was coming out some kind of way, right? Righteousness was being displayed some kind of way. Might not have been in the middle of, of, of uh, you know, crowded streets and so forth and so on. In fact, I can guarantee it would Right, unless unless you know, you know, you have a breaking point where you just don't give a damn, and you get ready to die, and when you get ready to die, you do some some strange stuff. So who knows? But all I'm saying is, you couldn't do this, uh, uh you know, two three hundred years ago. They would have put you to death instantly. Matter of fact, they would have killed you. They would have killed your family. They would have killed anybody that looked like you. They would have killed anybody that looked like they wanted to say something. They would have killed anybody that looked at them. Right? Anybody, if they even felt like, you know what I'm saying, you was a threat. Even if you 
you were not like it all looked great. You were gonna get put to death. But all I'm saying is Yahweh is is about to pay that back. There there is no you do that and you know buy guns be buy guns. Let's move on. Let's ask for reparations and constantly get denied. Nah, nah, ain't none of that. Right? You have to get that back, man. Right? Matter of fact, uh, well, let me let me finish this out, bro. On Jeremiah sixteen sixteen. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said Yahweh, and they shall fish them, and afterward will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them uh, from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. All right? So that's thus says the Lord, man. All right? Uh, right, so that's thus says the Lord. Right, fishers turn hunters. Right, and, and, and if I'm not mistaken, it's in um First Peter chapter four, where it says the judgment must first begin at the house of the Most High. Right, and if it begin at the house of the Most High, uh, basically the sinners and the ungodly, you doom straight like that. Right, you doom. Right, but then it's gonna turn from the house of the Most High to the surrounding nations. Right. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and uh, verse 31. It says, Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. Right? They have to get that back, man. Right? Uh, and like I said, I don't, I don't care if it's 2023, 20, 2034. 20, I ain't even going to speak like that, right? Basically, because of all of the, the uh, prophecies that we are seeing unfold as we speak. Right? But. Yeah, they got to get that back, like real talk, you know what I'm saying? Um, we go to the book of Revelation. Revelation 18. Oh, man, but it would be cut grass. Ah. I can't stand the smell of cut, cut grass, man. I right. tell my allergies, you know? But anyway, Revelation chapter 18. Partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and power hath remembered her iniquity. It's the get back, right? This the most high saying, it's time, right? That come out of her, my people, is a literal salvation. It ain't saying mentally come out of her. You can read about that in Michael chapter 2, verse 10, where it says, Arise and depart, for this is not your rest. Let's get your mind out of this place, and this ain't your place for you, of, of your rest. This ain't your place of peace. Revelation 18 and 4 is speaking about the literal salvation while destruction is happening to the daughter of Babylon. And if you're not on the receiving end of come out of her, my people, then you're on the receiving end of, of the plagues of the daughter of Babylon, right? I'm going to read that again, Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and power have, have remembered her iniquity. So that means that. Okay. So that means that. Um, I don't know if this video going to cut short of what. Like I'm having issues. Hopefully it'll be alright. Anyway, what that means is. Uh, her sins have uh, reached their boiling point with the Lord, and it's time for the, it's time for payment, right? It, it's time to pay up. Matter of fact, let me move this right quick. It's a lot one second. Try to get it out the sun.
It's a lot more set. means is that it's, it's payment payment time for uh, the iniquities that the daughter of Babylon has unleashed on the most highest people right and when that uh, come out of her my people is heard that's basically the chariots swinging low to beam, beam their, uh, the most highest people up for us to receive our new bodies right because we're not getting on them chariots man um, um, in, this, in, this wicked, in this wicked flesh man right New bodies is what we'll receive according to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, right? But it says, uh, let me see, in Revelation 18 and 6, it says, reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. So not only does uh, your oppressor got to get that payment back. They have to get it back double. Why? Because they put their hands on the children of the Lord. We're not no average people, man. We're not normal individuals. We're not like all the rest of the heathens, even though we love to try to claim so. Right? I say, um, when, when Esau think about equality, they're thinking about anatomy. They think about, you know, two arms. It's the most high blessed you to have all of these attributes. We talk about two arms, two hands, a head, a neck torso, chest, right, legs, thighs, feet, that's what they think about equality. But clearly, ain't nothing equal about this situation, man. Clearly, we're going through th way worse things than all of the other nations around the world. So ain't no such, ain't no such thing as equality here. <coughs> really ain't no such thing as equality, period. Here or in the kingdom, right, straight like that. Because the most I said, we his chosen people. We are above every, everybody else, even in our lower state. Be above everybody else, talent wise, spirit wise. We just different, right? And call Haloy and Lai Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shah for that, man. Right? Call Haloy and Lai Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shah for blessing, uh, blessing me and you if you can hear this to be a part of that, man. We just hoping to be the, the elect that get lifted out this place that's spoken of in Revelation 18 and 4. Come out of her, my people. We hoping to be a part of that, man. Nobody trying to. Uh, uh, Go through hell just to get to the judgment, then you got to go through some more, right? So, it, it, uh uh, hell no. Like I said, the warning is, man, this place is done. This whole society over with, and it's a wrap. What's up, bro? What's going on? You got some questions or something? What's going on with you, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You got to try and to, yeah, to the best of my ability, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get a word, yeah, bro. By yourself, brother? Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, our right, scripture says we we never really get long. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, the angel. Set right, right, right. The angel of the Lord encamped around about those that fear Him. So, where the my millstone? Uh, I follow them, no doubt. Yeah, them those are those are my apostles. You know, I follow them, but I'm my, not. My a father was one, man. I right, come. You know, if he had killed the original Hebrew Israelites that was up on this earth, man. Man, I ate. Hey, Ain't no, ain't no surprise. They rose up and yeah. they was going neighborhood to neighborhood, fixing them up, playing guards. That's what carpets did this shit from. I ain't already, already ready, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, infiltrated. Right, I, I got a book called um, the CIA's Greatest Hits. Yeah. It goes in on things of such, man. Like, you, know, you already know we study history. Yeah, and we study, we study our oppressor for real, for I real. I was in that devil's place, too. Right, so we understand what they're capable yeah. of. Well, the only thing we can do is just try to stay pure, you know, try to stay sincere with the word. And outside of that, man, we, we guilt free. They can't do nothing to us, man. It says in the scripture, uh, whoever the son set free is free indeed, right? So they can do whatever they want to do to this flesh. It is what it is. But as long as we keep our spirit right, that's all that matters, man. You know what I'm saying? As long as we truly, sincerely trying to serve the Lord, they can do whatever it is they want to do. The scripture said they're going to do. They're going to do some real stuff. Right. Right, right, right. You pray these real Right. You dead little motherfucker. Right, right. the harbor guy. He control all this shit. Right. He control good, bad, and everything else. Right. This story I've been told, he sitting back laughing like. Right, 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 right. Look at him. Y'all still follow my story. Right, right. No matter how much you try to change or put us in different dimensions. 
some shit like that. Yeah. With, 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 with CERN and yeah. all the rest of the science weird shit that they do, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah. got motherfuckers going back in time on that. <laughs> they still can't stop shit. Right. And they scratching their head like, Right. We right. thought this was going to, what we going to do next? Come on, man. Right. We got to think of something. Can't fight my out of Right. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, come on. They got all this evil ass technology and scrambling our brains. Right, and right. Killing our cells and our DNA and shit, right. man. Right. Low frequency energy. You right. You know what I'm saying? It's killing us, bro. Yeah. TVs, microwaves, you know, but how is it going to live? You know? Yeah. Without it. We ain't got no choice but to. Uh, and um, a lot of people live too damn comfortable, man. Oh yeah. uh, man, I was just talking about that Michael, Michael two ten, where it says arise again, depart, but this is not your rest. A lot of the most high people feel like this is this is it, you know. And Christianity didn't lie to them to say that when you die, that's when you got to worry about heaven and hell. But that ain't that's not so. You know what I'm saying? Scripture tells us it's gonna be heaven on this earth, man. Right. But we got to do our part now, right? We can't be waiting. To, for for some later on, you know what I'm saying? Scripture says, well, I made haste and delayed not to keep the commandments of the Lord, which is basically keeping the word of God. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the word of God tells us we gotta have that faith, because faith without works is dead, so they go hand in hand. So that means that we need to be doing both of them right now. You know what I'm saying? We need to be watching and praying right now, so that when all hell breaks loose, we'll be straight. You know what I'm saying? It says in Scripture. Knowledge and wisdom should be the stability of our times and strength of salvation. So what you know, what we just discussed, that's going to have you at a certain level of peace when everybody else is going to be wondering, what the hell going on? You already got some understanding about that. So your spirit is going to be totally different than everybody else, right? But we, we owe it to the Father, man. We owe it to the Son to do our best while we while we here now, you know what I'm saying? So. Hey man, you spot on with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you said, they they done infiltrated every everything that we've ever tried to organize, come together on something. If it looked like we finna be successful, oh, they coming, man. They coming, all right, brother. Yeah, they coming. They did the same thing with the Black Panthers. They did the same thing with the college movement in the in the sixties and the fifties. Did the same but thing with so Black Wall Street. Street. Right. We had, we had witches in the Wild Wild West, man. Right. We had our own town. They burn them down, man. Right. Even you know, him. You go, you, know, you go, you go, you go, um, why not? I can't do this with you. Why not? I got the soul. I got the anger. I got the anger. The scripture said, I'm, I'm, go ahead, bro. I'm so hurt about what the fuck is going on to my people, man. Mm -hmm. And I want them to feel like me. I don't, don't want to care. None of my people, not even my mom, talking about I'm going to a party. I'm going to enjoy myself right now. This ain't the time to enjoy. Right. This prophecy is being fulfilled. Right, it's right. time to get ready to know when to run, right. know when to hide, right. and know when to come outside. Right, right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Walking with. Our father coming. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they blotting out the sky. Mm -hmm. With chemtrails. Yeah. The chemicals falling down, and they doing to stuff to it. Right. The water, chemicals in it. Massive chemicals, massive chemicals. Mm -hmm. The ocean is blue. Right. So you understand, our water on the mainland is fucked. Yeah, right, right. So yeah, the when water we get out tap, here, yeah. When he say you got to clean us up, he talk about our bodies literally. Yeah. Scripture said we're gonna get new bodies. This has to go. Yeah, because right. the mind, right. you know, if you ain't Extremely got a strong polluted. mind, you, you done away with already. You, right. You're gonna be the nation's new baby. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying? Straight like that, yeah. We've yeah. been living and dying on this planet so long. Yeah. We got souls that's tired. I'm tired, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, I'm like one of the souls that's at the front of the line, ready to go. Let's go, baby. But what you're saying is spiritual, though. It says in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroys the heart. That's right. So what you're feeling right now is what all of us are feeling yeah, right now. Don't sing. That, right. That's what allows us That's what allows us to keep on keeping on. Now, you know I got to tell you, bro. That right there, equate death to say it on the pack. I know. Right? Know. All right. So you, as long as you know but it. I, I answer that to be simple. Right, as long as you know it, that, that is what it is. And so now we're going to move on and go right back to the point. The thing is, the, the cigarettes, you know, it's a nasty habit that I've been trying to kill for the longest, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to smoke Newport. Yeah. Number one, had you hacking up the film. All of us used to do something, bro. But like, I used to smoke anything, myself. Anything I do, I ain't going to do is obsessive. You know what uh, I'm saying? All I'm saying is, see, look. 
That military. Yeah. Well, so anyway, all I'm saying there, bro, I used to smoke too. Like, it hit, like heavy every day. Cigarettes, black and miles, weed, blunts, joints, heavy. The Spirit of the Lord had to take that off me, bro. I couldn't do it. One of these days, that right there gonna be normal. Out here in the midst of everybody. You know what I'm saying? When they spread them, I, I had it on my phone. Come on, Kim Trails? Yeah. Yeah. I had yeah. It on my phone through a whole day. Uh -huh. I had to see it. Right, right, right. I'm sitting outside, filled with the sky. No clouds in sight. Uh -huh. None. Uh -huh. You see the Kim Trails. Yeah, you see the crosses. All, all of a sudden, clouds. Yeah. And all of a sudden the whole sky blotted out. Yeah, 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 yeah. No sun, no sunlight. I don't know if you you recall this or not, but uh old boy. What what's the uh what's the dude that's on uh, the Microsoft dude? Um uh, I know who you talk about Bill Bill Gates. Bill Gates, yeah. right? Bill Gates had a whole plan to literally blot out the sun just by that's what right. you like what you saying. They got it was on the news. Right, right, because the sun is killing their ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The most high made us different. When the sun kiss us, See, we get vitamins from the sun. We get knowledge from the sun. Right. Well, well, the actual we get light from the sun. The, the actual, the, the actual, light. the actual star, the sun, gives us, it gives us nutrients. And it's more than one out there. I mean, that's not a hill nor a devil. We talking about uh, uh, blotting out the skies and blotting out the sun. I'm talking about metaphysics. Okay. I mean, that's what. Not and now you, now you going to worship. See, now you, right now you're going somewhere no, else, but we got to stay on 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 that on that path, right? I knew I knew a man once. He was a a, a physicist, my man. Word. He was a physicist went to MIT and everything. Uh -huh. He went from being MIT physicist uh -huh. to a preacher. Uh -huh. and he went from a preacher with that three o one C bullshit from the government. Five o one C three. How they, how they want how, how they want you to teach the people? Right. He had to lead that because he, he saw the truth. And what he was doing because when he was a metaphysicist, he had to think deeply and he started breaking down the scriptures, having a better understanding. Right. And the scriptures had more knowledge in them than the MIT work he did as a scientist. I hear you. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, what, from my understanding and observing this man, mm -hmm. he had all this knowledge and he could have made all this will. Uh -huh. We work with MIT and probably underground projects, black ops projects, you know what I'm saying? That's what they do. When we smart like that, right. they take they try us to away. Use it. They yeah. take us away and you probably never seen again. Right. They ain't kill shit, they just using the shit out. Shit out, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And they killed this man's son first. Uh-huh. They poisoned his wife. Uh -huh. And then he died. Uh -huh. He died the day I uh Oh, uh, uh, Trump got elected. Okay. They, they swore that some bitch in there. Okay. And, you know, all of them, all of them, every last one of them. Yeah, no doubt. You know, no doubt. Saying. But his name was Dr. Devil Clark. And he talked about it. almost the beginning of the time. He had so much understanding of, of, of what's going on, how they lie, right. how they lie about even the table chart of the universe, how right. they how right. the solar system made. They, they lie about how many number of planets in it. Then that's bringing me yeah, to my point. That, that bringing me to my point, right? Because I, I, I metaphysics. All right. It still takes you back. It's a study of life. it's a study of certain things, right? But it's a study of a certain thing, right? Right. So now we got to ask ourselves: Who originated that study of that thing to to term it metaphysics? Metaphysics can help you too, right? So we going we going right. off course. Using. Uh, I understand what you're saying, but we're going off course. Gold fight off all these cancers and I understand what you're saying, but we're going off course. Now we got to ask ourselves, who created this study called metaphysics? I'm talking about the actual phrase metaphysics. You can equate that to Christianity. Right. The original Christians, of course, were us, but there was no such thing as a Christianity. Christianity right. tries to explain a certain right. thing, but another way. Everything is opposite. Right. Okay. Now, okay. metaphysics. Okay. Right, metaphysics is, is is basically you studying what's not under, not what's easily understood. Right. Okay. Scripture says 
that the Son of Man has uh, uh, basically given, been given the okay to create many mansions, right, for us. Right. Where are those mansions? He not on the earth creating those mansions. Right. He's somewhere else. Scripture speaks about other realms, right? It says that the Most High is in the heavens of the heavens. Right. So, so that's the truth of a metaphysic. But the term metaphysic, you can really get at to your oppressor oh, to try to explain some away. I never even said it. I never opened one book on metaphysics. No, 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 no. I'm what? just saying because uh, uh, you was you was saying we was talking about the sun. Right. right That's why right. I was saying we finna go left because I already saw where we were going. Oh right? no, 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 no. Right. So I, 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 I was more so. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that you are, bro. I'm just saying like the conversation went right. another route, right? Because right. we was talking when we originally started talking about Bill Gates and his plot yeah. to, uh, to blot out the sun. Right. Which was bringing me to a point of they dying more than they being born. One yeah. thing of that is yeah. the most high created that to be against them. You right. see what I'm saying? So, but it's just time, man. It's just time for knowledge to be increased, like it says in the book of Daniel chapter 12. It's time for the most high's people to be revealing the, the devil for what, what he really is and his plots and plans. Right, that's your enemy. So we need to understand who he is, and understand his plans. Knowing your enemy is every last song piece is considered wood. Right. All there the it other is. Nations. There it is. Right. Yeah. Straight like this. You gotta understand your surroundings, man. Moab, Ammon. Right. Which was take all of some this life paper. All we, the witchery and backstabbing they did to our people. Scripture says they do it now. Right. Scripture says that uh, the most high people, we gotta get it first. And then everybody else gonna get it because it's personal. You know what I'm saying? We his children. So if we his children, then we supposed to have a certain standard. That's why the most high calls us what? The light of the world. I mean we different than everybody else. So when we get real light, we not supposed to hang on to that darkness. We're supposed to let that go. You know what I'm saying? Which is all, all this was bringing me back to, you know what I'm saying, our original point of this place done in the majority of the most high people, they don't understand that you need to be seeking the Lord right now before all hell break loose. Because when all hell break loose, then now you just got to deal with it. Ain't no calling on the Lord. Ain't no trying to find his name out and, you know, what can I do to get on your good side? You should have been there that. You know what I'm saying? The most high, it says in scripture, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? It's, it's not coincidence that the Most High got me here in the center of this. You go right down the street and see some more brothers doing the same thing. You go down this way, you see some more brothers doing the same. It's not coincidence, right? So the Most High is literally showing that long suffering and mercy that the majority of the Most High people take for granted, not understanding and because they can't see. This place is falling, man. So right now is the time, man. Right now is the time. Like I said, man. How long I've been telling people that, man? How long it's been? Hey, keep on keeping on, brother. You know what I'm saying? I lost many jobs. Hey, keep on keeping on. Not liking the work environment. It's going hey, to preach. Keep you know on keeping, keep on keeping my, on. My word is, know your enemy, bro. Know how to navigate. Right. Because just like when I was in the military, a sailor, uh -huh. on that ocean, you got no navigation. Right. Fuck if you can fix anything. Right. If you got bad navigation, you end up lost. Right, right, right. You end up lost and get you killed. Right. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like in life, you got to know how to navigate. Right. You got to know how to go around these devils. You got to know how to learn how to, if you see a brother in trouble, mm -hmm. learn how to know how to pull him out of that problem. Yeah. And that ain't by... Going in your pocket or doing anything by showing them right way. Right, 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 right. Put yourself in that situation for your sin. Right, right, right. What, you, what did you do? Right. When they come to me with that boo boo story, homeless or just brother, I don't know. Uh huh. You know, you telling me something bad that happened to you. What did you do? Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. you put yourself in that situation. Now, in turn, like you said, you've been you've been doing that for 30 years. I'm tired. And you bro. lost a lot of jobs. Tired, a little, little. I see a lot of deaths. A little, little, though. A lot of people just turn away. No doubt. Go to the truth. No doubt. A little, little, though. Wisdom grows. It don't stay the same. So, when now, you wisdom, first... Wisdom that works with them. Huh? What you say? Wisdom that works with them. 
it has gotten worse. I said wisdom without works is death. Right, 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 right. Wisdom without con. Yeah, straight like that. Wisdom without works is death. Right? So at one point in time, you were warning the people, but you stopped because, like you said, you start losing jobs. I never stopped. I just stopped signing gas money to put in my truck to, to go, go out. places and, and, okay. and, and, and you know. That's what I'm saying, it though. It ain't about being on the corner to me, and that, and that, you know, because yep. being on the corner, it's just like our prophets always do. It's all just black and the real sincere, though, you know, what, what they was going through. No, no, no. We like all. This is what I'm saying. They think like the lies, the lies. So, like every prophet in the Bible, every uh -huh. prophet in the Bible that had a mission to do something for God, uh -huh. to save his people, they tore up their clothes, put on sackcloth, uh -huh. they threw ash and dung on their head. Right. Just to humiliate themselves. Right. To the Father and, and every eye that you see. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And they cried. Right. They had tears. Right. You know, sometimes they didn't want to be bothered with the people. Right. They did it all for God. Right. A lot of people separated themselves. People came to mind. Hey, like, what's going on? Right. How people need it? Right. And he like, I need to get myself together. And right. And understand you know, why y'all, why we going through this shit. Right. And why every every other prophet been warning y'all, and y'all keep doing the same dumb shit. Right. You know, they get tired. A lot of like, let, let all this shit happen right now. Mm -hmm. let, it, let the good, the bad, whatever going to happen in the future, let it happen right now. Mm -hmm. And the father had something to tell him that made me mad at Elijah for keep questioning God. Uh -huh. And God was like, you know, you love your people more than me. Uh -huh. And he told him, you know, even a baby have a certain time to be born. Right. Just like when a person dies, they have a certain time to be reborn. Right. Hence, reincarnation. Uh -huh. You keep being reborn and fucking up, reborn, fucking up. Some people can't be saved. Right. That's two thirds. Right. Now, you are here preaching the one third. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Maybe the one person out of that one family right. that's fucked up. Right. Because most of our families are fucked up with mental health. Right. Narcissism. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, I get frustrated, man. And when you live quick and you live like, you know, folks look at you like, damn, you living like you're going to die. Mm -hmm. You know, you just tired. You tired of living and dying. No doubt. You know, if you have great understanding, you know, we, we lose a lot of soldiers for being tired, man. No doubt. Because our people don't want to change. No doubt. You know, it ain't even at the end. Because I know. when you have knowledge, you understand God made the end. But that he made I'm... him to spank off and stuff and it was small. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying though. Wisdom grows. Wisdom. He, he talks about wisdom like it's the most beautiful thing in the world. Like it's a woman. But, but this is what I'm saying though. See our, our sister. This is what I'm saying though. It grows. Yeah. Wisdom does not stay the same if you're dealing with her. Right? Because we're not wisdom. Wisdom comes from the Lord. Wisdom comes from Yahweh. Right? Yeah, Out of the mouth right of Yahweh comes right wisdom. Now. Right? Wisdom comes out of the mouth of Yahweh. Wisdom is instruction. Wisdom is the thing that guides us. And you're supposed to grow with wisdom because it's a relationship. Like you said, it says in scripture, wisdom is a woman. It says wisdom exalted her children. It's a woman. So in, in a relationship, you're not supposed to stay stagnant. So yeah, you may hear the patch to where, hey, I'm more frustrated. But that don't mean lead a relationship. That means now you got to go figure out what's wrong. And it ain't wisdom that's wrong. Wisdom ain't the problem. We're the problem. So if we getting frustrated about a thing, like you said with Eliza, yeah, step back. You still got to go do the work. That's why the Messiah said, don't take your hand off the plow. Right? Don't be looking back, talking about now. Stay moving forward, bro. Right? That's why I'm saying, bro, hey, that's what's up 30 years. Make it 40. Make it 50. Make it 60. You know what I'm saying? Because like you said, out of me being out here, it may be one person that the most I deal with. I done did my part with that one person. It's just like the, uh, the parable of the talent. Gave the talent to one person, what he do? He flipped that thing. Gave the talent to the second person, and what he do? He flipped that thing. The third dude said, nah, because I already understand what's coming with you. I already understand it's going to be austere. I already understand it's going to be hard. I get it. 
So I'm gonna just hold this down to you come. And when he when he came, he got he got looked down upon because of that. Because he didn't give us this knowledge to be holding to ourselves. Like I said, I don't know your life, bro. I don't know what you're doing today to day. But I know you just said you don't go out no more. So I can only go off of what you tell me, you know what I'm saying? So it may not be, you may not have to, you know, go to like no major thing or nothing like that. But it's somebody out there that need to hear your voice, you know? Because it's the same way we heard. Somebody had to, somebody had to do what I'm doing right now for me to hear it. And all I needed to do was hear it. It didn't take no six months for me to, to understand, oh, let me, let me go and, you know, to study, to get this and boom, 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 boom. No, it's just, like we said, man, when you die, you go back up to the Father, you coming back down on this earth, you gonna live out your lot again. You ain't not gonna be anything other than what your lot is. But all you gotta do, you just need to hear it. Once you hear it, it's on for no. Oh, I know my lot, my man. I, I've been knowing my lot since I was four. I'm not you saying know you my don't. Lot is, my name is Hashim. Uh -huh. Tyree. The name. I'm, I'm not Dan saying. Last, I'm not saying my you name don't. Means store of I'm not saying you don't know. Another name means breaking. I, I don't. I'm that not. Mean God made me a bad motherfucker. I'm not saying. I'm, I'm God's weapon. Listen, bro. You God's voice against you. Huh? Just like in the body of Christ. Uh huh. With a body, you got seven different opinions. A body just ain't one thing. Right. A body is many opinions. You know? Right. Right. It might who the fingers. You know what I'm saying? I, and I the body of Christ, the body is Judah. I understand clearly what you're The other pendants is the other tribe. You know what I'm saying? And, and me trying to understand my life, I knew I wasn't going to be a preacher. My mama always said, you're going to be a preacher when you get old. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Because of the way the preachers, you know, that, that I understood, I knew I wasn't going to go that way. That Coco Dollar. Right. Kim Coco, and I hated them, man. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? I didn't have understanding. Right. But then was my people they were talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, it's all frustrated, man. Like man, I said, man. I'm not saying you don't know your life, brother. I'm, I'm, that's far from what I'm saying. But, you know, as far as trying to help somebody, you know, mm -hmm. knowing the word and mm -hmm. not saying that mm -hmm. it's not doing your part. If you right. see your family fucking up and, 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 and corrupted in sin, mm -hmm. you don't say nothing. You just go, you know, hold your head down and walk by. Mm -hmm. You don't say nothing. You sinning right with them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you have a knowledge to tell them right. how to save their own life. Because no, you can't save nobody's life. You got, right. you, you got to help them save their own life. You know what I'm saying? Really, you can't say You can't even save yourself for real, for real. You yeah. can try and hope. Yeah. But that's, that's what all this is about. That's what I'm saying. On that note, I'm gonna get on out of here, bro. Okay, bro. Okay, I'm hey, you, man. Hey, I'll pray to the most high, bro. My nigga, get a blow. Hey, wake up. Hey, I'll pray to the most high, bro. All all right. Ain't nothing on me, you know. It's all the most high, bro. I hey, appreciate you for stopping, though. All right. I got, I got one thing else to see. Go ahead. When Moses, Moses is afraid of people, man, because our people. Yeah, niggas. Quick. Yeah, you no know, doubt. Quick with that tongue. No man. doubt. Get the fuck on out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and Moses couldn't articulate. As well, so we got it for the elders, right? To step in and talk to them, you right? Know what I'm saying, right? But what, what I'm saying though, Moses, like, you know, during that time, I think got separated and knew different languages, right? And people had different words for God. Uh -huh. so Right, but why would Moses go to the people and say his name is I am? Wouldn't he go to the people and say his name is he is? I am who I am. You need to mind your peace. You need to worry about who I am. The father was getting small. The father was mad. The father was like, don't worry about what my name is. Right. Understand the knowledge that I'm trying to bring. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but when the people, when, like I said, when Moses go to the people and say he is sent me, why would he say I am? What's going on? I ain't seen you. Right, right, right. 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 Right,
I left him, went out to um, you know that park we used to go to downtown. Um, right, oh, right by um, Liberty Park. Man, it's something like that. Nah, I know you talking about over by board. Right there by um, the um, Civil Rights Park. Museum. Um, uh, oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you talking about. I think that's what Gary be coming out of there, too. Now, I think so. No. He, he go out of Saturdays and Sundays. I'm Sometimes on. I. I I think he go to he go to railroad, railroad. I yeah. think uh, Zion. I think he may go out there. I'm not sure, bro. I'm not sure. But I know sometimes Gary go to. Uh, I think he go to uh, Airfield Park. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is where I be at, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know? Yeah, you know, I said, man, the brother was chopping up. He was, he was, uh, he said, uh, what did he say? He said, daddy. His daddy used to be in, in GMS. His daddy taught him. Uh, he said he been he been knowing the, the knowledge of basically doing whatever whatever it is he do for like thirty years. He said he, he kind of stopped because the stuff was getting frustrating to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to tell him. You know, don't take the hand off the plow, you know, because somebody needs to hear you. Well, and, and I ain't saying you got to do it to this capacity. Right, right, right. Go speak to somebody. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. In your own room, right? Right, because just like you had, just like you had to hear it, and that's what opened your ears up. Somebody else needs to hear you. That's why the Most High gave you that gift, so that somebody can hear it. Right, right. But you know, then he, he, he started going kind of all over. I said, man, things have totally changed from when we first started coming out here to now. Yeah. You know, back then I had like, like temper, like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I probably go fly off. Accountable, so to see. But now, through wisdom, you know what I'm saying, I let people talk, express yeah. themselves fully. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Still try to maintain some form of like this platform. Right. But go and speak, bro. Get your point across. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that I can answer that question more clearly. Right. You know I mean? So that we can get understanding. You know, that's, that's what, what it's about. about. Right. That's what it's all man, about. Man, we, we have our understanding. We, we get our understanding. Mm -hmm. and our understanding tend to align. But. In order to get them to get understanding, right. you gotta understand where they come from. Right, right, right. Right, can I ask y'all something? What's up, For a huge, but small thing, God, she tells me. They get on this train. I got $27. Going to town, she said, Cab Talk to If I can't pay you $27, you might have me toward the bank of the city government. You say you got $27, you need seats to go to well? Town City. Okay. Oh, uh, I think, matter of fact, yeah, I got you. Hold on. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, I'll definitely, yeah, the, hey, yeah, the guy finna help me. I'll definitely call you. You know, I had to need that. Uh, I need it. I'm pretty sure it ain't bad because it got plenty got things to hold it. There you go. Now, what you do is what you do. There you go for what you see. No, no. This is actually what I'm trying to get home. I'm so tired. Just put a 12 hour shift and I'm out of pipe. I get all the TVs. Hey, all praise. Hey, that's what it is, bro. That's what it is. I'm talking about. Ain't nothing. I said, no, I said, thank you, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Anyway, the script says, and all that getting get understand. So. Whatever kind of understanding we can get out there, thing that is what it is, like, you know what I'm saying? So that is what it is. Most all the cans, and you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so like this, man. I mean, when you got a bank, man, when you go under, when you go under scripture, holy shit, I should always been actually following this. Man. Yeah, I was sure. following his steps, sure seeing like how this. he moves. Sure like this, you just try to copy his moves, right? But like I was telling the brother. When we deal with wisdom, wisdom don't stay stagnant, bro. Wisdom grows. Ah, it's increasing, yeah. Right, it's a one. And we in, we in a relationship with that one. So yeah, at one point, we was out, but it was sincere. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we truly believe it was. But with knowledge, with long suffering, with, you know, uh, mercy from the Most High, with the grace of the Most High, the spirit of the Lord, we grow. And when we we, we supposed to grow, when we grow, bro, I mean, we change up, you know what I'm saying? Not too tough, but we change up mentally because this is what the spirit is. 
just like King David said, uh, I, I would bless me with a new right spirit. So that's a prayer that we pray all the time, especially if we feeling like we all and pray that prayer. And the Father, he bless me with a new right spirit. Please don't take the Holy Spirit away from me. Give me more understanding. Allow understanding to stay with me. And please don't let it leave. You know what I'm saying? So as long as we doing that, man, we going to grow. Okay, the understanding. Mm hmm Diligence. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like you said, you can listen to folks, man. Like, you listen to what they say. You just direct what's going on. Right. But you listen to them. Right. Got to you know what I'm saying? Before you, you know, we ain't want to hear nothing they had to say. Jeez. Brother, what it came to, like, you were talking about metaphysics. We can't talk about shit. I'll talk. Nah, Mel point, gotta, hopefully, you talk. Gotta, you, gotta, you gotta meet them where they at and then bring them to where you want to go. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You gotta, gotta learn that. Had to learn that, man. But, like I said, man, I don't. I'm just, I'm just glad the most I did it, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I feel like... Cause he could've took his hand off y'all. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? You feel me? He could've just been like, ah, go that way. <laughs> Matter of fact, nah, don't go that way. Go left and stay there. 